All right, guys. So I wanted to do something a little bit, uh, a little bit more like casual because I just did like a JCS video, and I'll be honest, as great and entertaining as I was personally, because you know, you, you guys know me, uh, it was a little bit of a bummer. So I want to get something to put me in a slightly better mood. And Cart Narks, guys, if you are not familiar, please follow Cart narcs it is hilarious and i'm bringing them on to the channel well not like not bring them on but we're watching them right now so you know let's go all right this man here in the astros hat looks like he just did a full spot spot Spit. excuse me you're putting your carts back you know don't just leave your carts out you know, just just don't do it. You already know you shouldn't be doing it. Just don't do it. Spot block. Let's find out. Let's take a look. See. It's a spot split. It appears. We we keep we we. That's not where the car goes, man. Come on. Oh, she's waving at me. Your husband? Come on, man. That's not where the carts go. Give him the skibby to be by wee wee one more time, man. We left his cart in the middle of that spot over there, man. Yeah, well, cart. If it was a cart around closer, it'd be all right. It's right there, man. It's four spots over. You know what? Bro, are you freaking serious? If there's a cart corral closer, that is an excuse. If I've ever heard one, there are like cart corrals all over the freaking place. Any store, this is a Walmart. I guarantee you, if he looks like to the left of him, right behind him, there is probably another like cart area. Like I, uh, pff, bro, I'm already upset. What's sir? Oh, you gonna melt? You the Wicked Witch of the West or something? All right, well, I'm giving you a don't return my shopping chart like a jerk magnet there. Good God! I'll tell you. Pardon me, sir. Well, sir, it's not what I. It's, it's, a, it's a light place. Now, you know who I am. Oh, I blocked your attack, sir. So now, I thought the rain was getting you today. I thought you were. Uh... Adios. All right. Hola. Now, sir, if you reconsidered, would you like to do the right thing and not leave this card out here? Adios. Hola. Bam. It is a magnet, so their car is not damaged. But you know what could damage your car? If that cart gets caught in that wind and rams into some, some, uh, somebody else's car. You know? It happens. It gets windy. It's already freaking raining out there. That cart is going to be flying around. And you know what? It's going to hit somebody else's car, get a little dent. They're going to be super upset. What could have prevented this, you say? Well, the cart narcs are trying to do their jobs right now to prevent stuff like that. It, you know? Oh, you got me in the hip. I'm, gonna lie. I'm not going to lie about that. Yeah, sir, he left his car right here blocking the spot, inconsiderate of other shoppers like yourself. Now, sir, uh, you might have not seen that in our criteria, but it, I was using the cart as cover, as a, as a seasoned cart narc agent does. He managed to, I didn't have my full body behind the center of mass of the cart. And so he did nail me, a, well, not nail, Skimmed my right hip. I had my wand out on that side too. That's just uh It's a good toss. You can tell he was ready. Bro, people would really rather hit you with their car than take their cart back. Even knowing that they shouldn't just leave their carts out in the parking lot. It's the confrontation of it. It's the whole, oh, how dare you tell me to put my cart back or the store's cart. That's what they're paid for to take the cart's back. Shut the fuck up. Pay for it. It was his, it was his other toss. It, or was that his third toss? Yeah. Anyway, he's seen the videos. He's a bit of a lazy bones. Whoa, cart narcs. Relax. The guy is out of the parking lot. Not officially, but he's, he's out of the range, you know, in my opinion, of the the narcoteer like 
There's other carts. You, you still got a job, bro. I get it. I get it. You want to get this guy because he's going off to take the, the thing off the car again. He doesn't he doesn't want to be a lazy bones, but he is. It's crazy, right? How people don't want to be what they are. You're freaking lazy. You, all this effort you're doing of taking the sticker off and off your car, you could have put your cart back. But no, this is this is the, the, the thing he wants to do. This is the heel people like to die on. Their carts. Their shopping carts. That they know they should have put back anyway, but they refuse to. Sir, lethal force is not justified in this scenario. Bro, I got that motherfucking thing on him. He was ready. You, you really about to... People would rather shoot somebody to death than put their own cart back when prompted to because, oh, I am a man. Don't tell me what to do. Lethal force is not justified in this scenario. You know that I'm not a threat to you. That's a bit of a bit of a, not a bit of a, a tremendous amount of being a poor gun owner. Narcoteers, we'll uh, try to zoom that in for you. But uh, this fella, you can see he had uh, had a uh, concealed carry on his right hip, like inside his jeans are. He said, come on. Now, obviously, as I just mentioned to him, shooting a cart arc or shooting anybody for placing a magnet on your vehicle is not justified. That's not proportionate. In fact, the only thing that's justified is taking that cart back where it belongs. Now, if you have to brandish a gun in order to justify your laziness, why? Ooh. Okay. So, again, I'm slightly conflicted. Like, initially, cart narcs was correct. This guy's just being a dick. But it is, like, I, I did tell, I said, I even said it. Cart narcs, the guy's out of the range. He's out of the range. Don't, don't do it. You know, he, he, you know, he's outside of the basic Walmart parking lot. Now he's technically within the back parking lot of another uh, location, you know, like that little plaza over there. So, like, I can't 100% agree with you right now, cart narc. Like, I want to. And, like, initially, like, I, I completely agree. I completely see your side of it. But as a outside observer i do have to say there's you know there's usually like a limit on how far you know you guys should be going with how long you're chasing them down like he's already driven pretty much away you're at this point you're kind of running up to him like, i don't know i, I feel card narcs here but at the same time i just gotta say we gotta you know we gotta have our limits here you know they are lazy bones though He's right. They are, they're, they're so late. It's so crazy to me, though. People would really rather be like, I will murder you versus put their cart back. Because a guy is telling them to put their cart back, you know. But oh, once their car gets hit by a freaking cart, random cart, it's like, oh, my gosh. How are there nobody here to pick up the carts? How are people not putting their carts back? Ah, I'm so upset. But I will refuse to do it if someone else tells me to. Okay. I'd say you're a, you're lower than a toad's vagina. But that's the kind of thing these lazy bones are. Is they're lazy. And they lie, like he said, about the rain. And then they're also apparently very, very, very poor examples of safe gun ownership. Agent Cordell out. Shout out to cart narcs. I actually love cart narcs. Like, these guys are the best. And you know what they're the heroes that we didn't ask for you know some people actually hate these heroes but you know what a lot of heroes have you know their antagonist Ooh.
got him. Got you. Anti-cart narc people. You're lazy bones. Don't be a lazy bones. Alright, next video.